On the topic of the reopening of tertiary institutions in Ghana, President Nana Adodankwa Okufuado has announced that the 2020-2021 academic year of tertiary institutions will commence next year, January 2021. Speaking to Radio Universe in an exclusive interview, an educationist, Mr. Niama Adi, shares his opinion on the decision by the president. I don't know what has caused into the consideration for that date to be given, but we can all assume that probably because of the COVID situation. But if you look at the fact that the academic semester begins in August, September, and by January, uh, another semester begins, okay, and in June, there is a long vacation. So if we are reopening in January, it means that we have altered the academic year. And if you compare it to the universities that take two double in Africa, in Ghana, and other parts of the world, students and in January and, and they are able to finish the academic year within the same year. So I think that that is doable. Touching on the effects of the delay of students resuming school, Mr. Niyama Adi opined that the delay could cause students to be rusty. So there needs to be some form of innovative engagement before January. Definitely students are going to be rusty if nothing is done between now and then. And that's one thing that I'm always advocating for. That our classroom being service is one too many. We should re-engineer our student lecture engagement and put in more project based approach to teaching and learning. Some have said COVID, so human contact has become less and all that. It is not all project-based work that students ought to go to the field. We have the desk research, we have literature review, where we improve students' academic writing and all that. So I don't think that they must be left alone, so that students will not have to wait from now till January when school resumes before they start doing something. He also further suggested that students be given project-based assignments where they are assessed towards the upcoming academic I would suggest if that is already not in place, that between now immediately they should be given some project based assignment so that they will start working on it between now and then. And that assignment must be scoring in order to see students seriously. We shouldn't be left idle. If we leave students idle, then you can be assured that by the time we return in January, students will have gone back. Getting back to serious learning will be difficult. We will need time to warm up. Into Radio Universe speaks to some students of the University of Ghana Legon to find out their take on the president's decision. Oh, for some strange miracle, we are having low numbers. And with the plan that the university had in mind before his fiat to, to get things moving, it's still ongoing. And if the students are forced to stay off campus, it is slowed to some extent. So I believe it's a poor choice. Some of us here are not listening to what the president is saying because before we reopen school, as a matter of fact, before we paid our fees for this semester, so school day before we open school, so Charlie. We did inside. I think the president should reconsider his decision because a school like University of Ghana, the plan is to do an online class. So if you can have it online, why should we wait till January 2021 before we begin our class? So I think the president should reconsider his decision and see a better way we can go to uh, the school without actually being in school to affect each other with the virus. Yeah. yeah. So when you look at their campaign trail, you can see a lot of people out there who are wearing a nose mask. So I don't know why they don't want to us to go back to school we can go back to school wearing a nose mask and observe the social distancing because the past glories of this nation is being ruined by bloody politicians that are really really outrageous and we need to talk about it i'm so happy about it we've been in the house for so long it's getting to a year now some of us run the conditions in the house that we are trying to escape oh, actually i'm very very sad i don't really like it. with there being mixed feelings on the topic we still hope for a successful academic year for the progress of the tertiary sector for radio universe gerald ni adusaba <laughs>